Hi guys, um, just back from Great Yarmouth. Uh, we went to Leisureland. Um, we spent probably about fifteen pounds a piece, me and my fiance, and this is the haul we got. So we ended up with one of these nice little Pikachu plushes. Oh, he's already trying to get out. Yep, quite nice. Apparently, a polka doll from the actual poker center itself. Um, don't know how true that is, but it's got the the Pokemon ink everything on there um, that's quite nice he's a chuffed little fella um, and he's a little car sticker as well so he'll probably go in the back of a car so that's one of them the next one we have is and again I apologize to headphone listeners we have got another one so this one's coming on to you um, he's got a nice little nice little wink face again same quality it's quite nice again the sticker just says Pokemon Inc. So, I'm hoping these are all official. Um, we have then got a nice little Pichu. Oh, he might be a little bit grubby there at the back. Oh, it's just a stitching. Again, he's quite nice. Got a derpy little face. Again, car hanger. Quite nice. And apparently from the actual Pokemon Centre. So, he's pretty good. Pop him over there. He won't stand up. We then have got um, a nice little Vaporeon. We've currently got some of these already. Um, I think we've got the Flareon. Um, Sophie and my fiance bought that for me the other day, which is quite nice. Um, she's also, I think she may already have one of these. Um, but either way, I think we're going to start trying to get the entire entire collection. Again, Pokemon Center, Poke Doll, Pokemon Inc. apparently. And then we have this little Eevee keychain. I didn't win any of this this stuff here. Um, Sophie did win this stuff. It was on the 2P machines. Um, all in Japanese. Likelihood of it being official means it's probably a lot higher now. Uh, we've got Made in China. No specific stuff on it though. It is quite nice. Fluffy texture. Lovely. Next one. Same thing but this time another Pikachu. Nice little bag holder. Um, again, nothing else on that. Again, all in Japanese. Um, with the Fiesta ST logo on it. Which is nice. Jack from work will be happy that they are endorsing Pokemon. And then we got one of these. Now they had... Sorry about that, that's my cats kicking the, uh, kicking the table. They had a load of these in there, which from what I can see, is they had all the different Pokeballs, including some camouflage ones, which I've never seen before. And... I'm pretty sure they have Pokemon inside of them. So I'm going to open that up. And it was difficult for me to not do this before now. And we've got a little green angry thing. That's a bit... He's really got some, some paint damage on him. Probably because he's been rattling around. Head plant and the inside of the, uh, the Pokeball. But he's quite nice. I'll have a look and... Um, Let's see what he's called in a minute. Um, oh, he's got some... Again, apologise for that. Cat in the background, he's got some white stuff on his on his butt. Um, she can be plopped down there. Yeah, we do have these two tins as well um, at the back, which I will be opening. Um, but for that, we're going to need a different camera setup. Magical jump cut. Okay, so we are back. We are going to be opening both of these tins here, so that one and this one here. I found the, the other two Pokemon plushes that we've got. We've got this one. Nice little very very angry looking Glaceon. And this little Flareon as well. I do like Flareons. They've got hair like mine. They look like they they'd give good cuddles. So you guys you guys can sit in the background. And potentially, yeah, just you can you can all face plant. Right, so yeah, we're going to be opening this tin, which is obviously the Letios expansion. And we're going to be opening this one as well. Um, I had a look for these online. Again, got them all with points and things. I think this one was coming in at about £30. Um, this one here at about £15. Um, I've got two of these. One I'm just going to put into storage um, and see what I can get for it. Um, probably in about 10 years' time. So I'm going to, do is I'm going to pop this one open now and see what cards we get. Okay, so we've got the foil off there. Um, this is, 
I've been watching a lot of these videos recently and I've been begging and begging to actually um, be able to get a Pokemon pack, but because I don't actually play the game, it would be a bit of a waste. So there we go, there's our Latio CX. Um, very, very nice, very shiny. You are going to go sat at the back there. Um, then, let me just make sure that I'm not getting the special online card game. There we go, pop them aside. A lovely guy um, at the at the arcades that we go to um, called Luke. Yes, Luke. Um, a guy called Luke who works there. Awesome guy. Um, he, his service, what he brings to it is brilliant. He always makes sure that there, there are... Um, cards and all of the um, Spongebob machines, always make sure there are tickets and everything. He's on it straight away if there are any problems. So, let's go into this first one. We have got with Ancient Origins, 10 additional cards um, with Groden. I think it's Mega Groden on there. So let's have a look here. What do we have? Now, I don't know what the trick is. Um, so I'm just quickly going to pause here for one second and see if I can figure out what that trick is. Right, it's so had a quick look online. It's fourth one back. Right, so we've got, first of all, Magikarp, a Whooper, a Gumi, no idea. No idea what that is at all. A Malmar? It's like a weird fish bird thing. Okay. We've got a Baltoy. I don't know what that is. We've got a Regice Hollow, which is quite nice. Okay, we can get the back. We've got a Tyranitar, Spirit Link. We've got a Gloom, a Hex Maniac. And the final one is, oh, the Lugia EX card. I think, I think that's full art. I'm not really too sure about what these actually are, or what they're called. That's very, very pretty. Very, very pretty. I'm probably gonna put a load of these into, uh, into cases and actually possibly put them in picture frames. Um, so I think they are quite nice. Um, so we shall now go on to the next deck. Just had a quick look at that card there. The Ligeria X is apparently going for about £10 online at the moment on eBay. Um, don't know, it might pop it up there. Um, again, another one with Groden on the front of there. Let's pop that out. So it is, oh, nearly ruined that. One, two, three, four. Fourth card out the back. But yeah, those those cards there, those online play cards, I'm going to give them to to my friend. Um, said he's got a brother, I think, who plays it, so he can have those. I'm not going to use them, and someone can actually get some good use out of it. So we have got a Baltoy, a Quagsire, a Combi, a Golet. Oh, is that a little, is that a baby golem? Um, ancient science fashion this, nope, apparently not then. Okay, Larvesta. A Valcarona, that's quite a nice card, again that's a hollow. That's quite nice, I think that counts as full art. Probably using the entire wrong, uh, wrong wording for these things. We have got a special energy. We have got a Sligu. Sligu, Sligu. Trainer as a paint roller. And a valve plume. God, it reminds me of the old art on those ones for the um for the original Pokemon cards. I've recently got back my um my old set from my parents' house, actually, which I've got got over there. Um but yeah, very, very nice old cards. Okay, we're on to this one now, which is Roaring Skies with something on the front of it that's holding a donut. So gonna open that one. Yeah, I'm just going to open it off camera, just so I don't accidentally give out the code uh, for the online ones. And we will do the trick. One, two, three, fourth one back. Yes, I'm pretty sure I'm doing that right. So we have got a Nincada. We have got a Gligar. A Voltorb. We've got an Inkay. No idea what that is. Binnacle? Binnacle? Okay, maybe like a barnacle, I don't know. We've got Wally, holographic. We found him, and he's shiny. So you can go at the back. 
we've got Latio Spirit Link, we have got a Dust Ox, and a Fero, and a Dragonite. Not Holly. Um, again, nice card, not going to argue. I'm not particularly looking for anything from these cards at all. Um, I literally just have an addiction with opening things. So we have then got a... Oh, it evolves from a... Argon? Agron? Oh, I can't remember what it is now. But Primal Clash, X and Y. So I'm just going to again pop these open. So I'll do it on camera, just in case anyone ever thinks that for some reason I am a... Let's pop that around. Take that card out immediately. Flip it over. One, two, three, four. Fourth card back. We have got the nice chubby little Sfeel. We have got a Low Toad. A Bidoof. A Staryu. With Lunge. A Volbeat. An Electric, which is quite a nice card there. It's a nice glossy one, I do like that. We've got a Torchic as well, that's quite a nice full art card. We have got a Lantern, a Lombre, and a full art Electric. There's that one there. Again, very nice, very nice. I do quite like those. Um, I think that was all that was in that tin. Like I said, I'm gonna keep one of the other tins um, itself uh, sealed still. Um, just to try and see if, I mean, the original decks, obviously the original decks 10 years later are going for triple, three times the amount that they are. But like I said, I've got these for basically nothing, so I might as well pop a couple um, in storage and just, just see if see if they aren't worth something later on. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pop open the, whatever this is. Um, I've had, tried to have a look at it, it's just got Pokemon Treasure Chest written on the side. Um, so I'm going to... I'm going to be careful I don't choke um, on this. Okay, I can't do the foil on the screen. Give me one second. Oop. Okay. Yes, I got these from um, Leisure Land in Great Yarmouth. Um, I think the big tin was four and a half thousand tickets. And the little tins themselves, I think, were two and a half. So they're, they're pretty good. Um, again, they've definitely craved my hunger and want for opening up things. Let's pop this open and let's see what we get. Okay, straight away we get those awesome awesome goodies. I'll make sure that I don't pop those on the on the hollow cards, but I still want to have them in shot. So we have got straight away there the ones that you know you're gonna get. We've got glittery chest bin, a nice shiny Pikachu and a Hooper. Annoyingly a little bit bent some of them. We have also got that um that token as well. I cannot for the life of me remember who that is. I'm not too good on the on the newer newer Pokemon, I'm afraid, guys. So I'm gonna prop you guys up at the back. That no, I'm not. I'm just gonna put you down. I'm just gonna put you there. So if I do that. Let's move these back. View there and there. Okay, there we go. So we have got one, two, can't use my hands, three, four, five decks in there. We've then got, when you pull the side piece out, oh, stationary. We have got some pencils. We have got stickers, stickers. Very nice stickers. We've got more stickers of a Pokemon on the left. Looks like he's from um, a Mortal Kombat ripoff. Um, I have also got a notebook with Pikachu at the bottom, and we have also got oh wow, a little little sleeve book as well. It's very handy for all those all those shinies we got. Nothing else in there. And tin itself, quite a nice lunchbox design. Now we'll be popping all the shinies in there later on. Let me move all this stationery to one side. And the stickers. Let's get rid of those. After all, they're not what we're, what we're after. 
So let's pop open this Ancient Origins with Ray Kweiser from the looks of things, but he's he's got a little bit grumpy and got a little bit goth. So let's pop these open. Oh, these ones are a lot harder than the last packets. Okay, so we have got just make sure, yep, good. So one, two, three, four. That that had a nice smooth feeling immediately. Don't want to ruin it for anyone, but we have got a Gloomy, a Whooper, Magikarp, Inkay, different colour, one of the unknowns, a Volcarona, which is, yeah, we've got that top right, not, not hollow. We've got Special Energy, Sableye, it always looks like he should be in, um, be from Adventure Time, um, a Lucky Helmet, and another Lugia EX. Right, okay, so we now have two of these. Um, okay, I don't know if, are these rare? I'm guessing these are pretty rare. Um, okay, so we've now got two of these. Um, the one on the left is just a shock design, to be perfectly honest. Um, let's put those, let's put those back down, because now my luck, I'll probably damage him. Oh, hang on, it's being an idiot. The Volcarona as well is also a glossy one. Right, this this you yeah, these packs are these packs are pretty good. Um right. So let's now open actually I want to save the Mega Mew 2 to last. And the Mega Mew. What have we got? We've got a Grodon and Rayquaza. Red and green. Green. Let's bust this one open. What do we have? I'm destroying all these packets. I'm sorry for anyone who's watching them who keeps the packets themselves. Pull that out to one side, and we go one, two, three, four to the back. We have got a hall, what hallucha, hallucha, right? We've got a binnacle. We've got another Inke, another Voltorb, a Gligar. Ooh, healing scarf, shiny, nice and nice. Pop it to the side. We've got an electrode, so we can now evolve our Voltorbs. Pretty cool. We've got Gallade Spirit Link. We've got Glizgore. Okay. Didn't realize he evolved. Obviously, that's a newer one. And we have got a Trainer Hollow kind of 3D printed energy switch, which is quite nice. Again, very, very pretty. Popping you down to one side. Onto the Groder now, Primal Clash. Let's pop that one open. Destroying all the packets. Making everyone sad. Alright, so flip that over. Everyone probably saw that. That's fine. I'll give the code out to, to my friend before this goes live anyway. We have got a Shroomish. Got a Marrel. Got a Corpish. We have got a... Oh, we've got a Weedle. A bar, bar boch. Mr. Mime Hollow. There are a lot of holographics happening right now. It's very, very nice. Let me shunt you guys down. There's too many. Groovile. A lantern. Shrine of Memories. And a Breloom. Non hollow. Still good. Still nice. Still happy with all of them. Let's go for Mega Mew first. If my fingers work. Let's pop that to one side. I'm just going to shunt these other cards out of the way as well. Ooh, there's too many of them. Let me pop that over there, out of the way. Turn that over. Again, code shown for everyone to see. Two, three, four. Flip those round. We have got a Noibat. A Piplup. Phone's freaking out. Piplup. We have got a chest bin. Oh, that's the little guy. It's the little guy that we got earlier on with the dodgy face. A bronzor. A froakie. I saw him once in a TV episode. I'm pretty sure he was a dick. We've got him. We've got a mischievous hollow. Nice. The ghost of my favourite type. So that's I'm very, very happy with that. You pop that in the little collector's case. We've got a heavy boot. Just the one. Um, we've got a Wobbuffet, 
we've got a quilava and we've got an aromatize quilava I'm happy with that one the aromatize no idea what that one is to be perfectly honest pop that down to one side pop those down and out of the way sorry about that as always cats cat issues cat owners you guys will understand now we're on to the final one which is please focus camera's now not even focusing there we go the mega mewtwo pack you have to be six or over though or else you won't remember the original movies Wait, they were, what, 25 now or something silly? Makes me feel really old. Right, so let's bring that out of there. Flip them over, one, two, three, four. Back of the deck. And spin them around. What have we got? We've got Fennekin. We have got, oh, hands don't work. Like they used to. Starly. We have got a Swinub. We have got an Inkay. We've got a Pancham. He looks awesome. We've got a Hollow Simsage. You're going to go down the bottom there with the rest of your special people. A, I thought it said Flatstone. A Floatstone. No idea what that does. We've got a Fracture. I remember them. They were quite cool. We've got a Heavy Ball to go with our heavy shoes. And we've got a Chatot as the final card so that's that's what we got in total from all of those again I'm very happy with those I don't particularly know what cards are worth what but I'm quite happy with the pulls we've got there we've got a lot of nice shiny cards um, we've got two Lugia EXs which I think is is ridiculous we've got Volcar Volcarona two of them one full art one glossy um, what else do we have we've got the full art Letios obviously that we knew we were going to get but we've got some got some really good cards. So what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to end up going back down at some point, grabbing some more of these tins and with my points and possibly putting up some more of these videos. But again, if you like this video, feel free to hit that like button. If you like what I do here, subscribe to my channel so you're kept up to date with all the newest videos that I release. And as always, thank you for watching.